Hello my little woolly. In this tutorial you will learn how to knit a basic sweater with straight needles and tailored exactly to your measurements. It's a very easy and flexible pattern. You can do it in a single color with a sleeve length that you prefer and using a stitch pattern that you love. You will find the written instructions on my website sewwoolly.net and there is a link for you below this video on the description box. My sweater has a three quarters length sleeves and I will show you how to do long sleeves too. For this project you will need US 10.5 or 7 mm knitting needles and US 11 or 8 mm needles. I'm using for my size 42 600 grams of cotton yarn number 3 DK or light, working with two strands at once to add thickness and durability to the garment. You will also need tapestry needle, scissors and measurement tape. If you want to work with just one strand, you can substitute the yarn for a bulky yarn. So let's talk about gauge. A square 4x4 four four inches or 10 by 10 centimeters knitted in stockinette stitch using two strands and the larger needles equals 12 stitches and 14 rows. You can use the yarn you love and the knitting needle size you prefer, but you have to knit a gauge before starting the project. I will show you how many stitches to cast on, how to build the sleeves, everything. But if your gauge is wrong from the beginning, then you won't be happy with the result. So think about it. The front and the back of the sweater are the same thing. And the first thing we're going to do is to measure the hip circumference. Take it exactly where you want the sweater to end or bottom edge. In my case, it's 105 centimeters. Divide this by two. So for me, it's 52.5 centimeters. This is a size 42. Now let's do a simple rule of three. If 12 stitches are 10 centimeters or four inches, 52.5 centimeters, how many stitches are? So multiply 12 by 52.5 and divide it by 10. And the result is 63 stitches. Round up to an even number of stitches. So I'm going to cast on 62. It could be also 64, doesn't matter. Now, if you're working in inches, the rule of three should look like this. If 12 stitches equals four inches, 23 quarters, how many stitches are? So multiply 12 by 20.75 and divide it by four. The result is 62.25. So cast on 62 stitches. Remember, we need an even number. So using the smaller needles, we're going to cast on the number of stitches that you got. I'm going to cast on less stitches here so I can show you everything quicker. And you can use the custom method you prefer. So we will start with the ribbing. First row, right side of the work. The repeat is net two, one, two, four two. And repeat, net two, purl two. And keep repeating to the end of the row, net two. So I should have two stitches here. That means that I made a mistake when I cast on. So I'm going to purl one and increase one stitch, purl two. This is why we need an even number of stitches. Row two, and every even row, we're working each stitch as it presents. 
which is the same. The repeat is net two, purl two. And repeat, net two. When you see the V, you have to knit. Net two. When you see the bump, you have to purl. So, purl two. And repeat to the end of the row. Knit two, purl two. So we have worked two rows. You have to work eight more rows to have ten rows in total. Now, with the larger needles, we are going to knit six rows in stockinette stitch, four rows in color A, two rows in color B. So first row, right side of the work, just knit across. This is color A for me, the darkest color. Row two, purl across. So repeat rows one and two once more. And now, after these four rows, we're going to change colors. So take color B and put it below the color A. Take color A to the back. Keep color B in front of you. And now just knit to the end of the row. Don't forget to leave a tail. So second row, just pull across with color B, of course. Okay, now we can just tie a knot to be sure that nothing is going anywhere. So repeat these six rows until the work measures the distance from the hip to the armpit. Now we are going to need three different measurements. First, the total length. Measure from shoulder to hip. In my case, it's 55 centimeters. Now take the measurement from hip to armpit. So in my case, this is 30 centimeters. And now we need to know the measurement from shoulder to armpit. So rest the hip to armpit measurement from the total length. 55 minus 30, 25. So now I know that I have to work 30 centimeters in stockinette stitch doing the stripes and then I'm going to start working the sleeves, the drop shoulder sleeves. For this part of the sleeve I'm going to increase 10 centimeters or 4 inches. These will be 13 stitches. Why 13 if 10 centimeters is 12 stitches? Well, because I need an odd number. So, using the knitted cast on method, let's increase. Knit the first, turn, and put it back 
onto the left hand needle. Now insert the needle between the first and the second, knit, turn, and put it back and repeat. Insert the needle between the first and the second, turn and put it back. And keep repeating until you have 13 stitches or whatever you need according to your gauge. So now I'm going to start uh, knitting the 2x2 two two rib stitch. The repeat is knit 2, 1, 2, purl 2, 1, 2, and repeat to the end of the row. Knit 2, purl 2. Ending with knit one because now we have an odd number of stitches. Turn your work and repeat the process. We're going to increase 13 stitches here too. So knit the first, turn and put it back. Insert the needle between the first and the second, knit, turn and put it back. And repeat until you have until you have 13 new stitches. Now I have an even number of stitches, which is what I need. We need to keep the pattern, the two by two rib. So we need to check what we did the last row. If we ended the last row with knit two, you have to start with purl two and vice versa. Remember, we are knitting what we see. until the piece measures the total length, in my case, 55 centimeters. Now we're going to bind off working each stitch as it presents. So, remember, I started the row with knit two. So, I'm going to knit one, knit the next, and pass one stitch over the other. Now I see the bump. I purl one and pass the stitch over. Purl the second and pass the stitch over. Now I see knit two. So knit the first, pass the stitch over, knit the second, pass the stitch over. And keep repeating until you have finished and repeat the process for the other part. It doesn't matter if it's the front or the back. Next, we're going to calculate and knit the rest of the sleeve. Now you should have two pieces that look exactly the same, the front and the back. When we join them together, we'll join this part, this part, and this will be the neckline. Here is where the sleeves will be joined. Remember, this is the shoulder to armpit measurement. In my case, 25 centimeters each side. So 25 times two, 50 centimeters in total. This is the highest part of the sleeve. And the sleeve will appear like this shape. With some ribbing on the cuff, we start from the bottom and work towards the top. This is a three quarters length sleeve. I have taken the measurement four fingers below my elbow. Depending on whether you wish a one quarter, one half, three quarters or full length sleeve, you must measure the circumference of that part of your arm. It's 26 centimeters for me. 
And here I know that the sleeve widens to 50 centimeters to ensure that it fits onto the body of the sweater properly. So to get this shape, we have to increase stitches. But first, we need to know how many stitches to cast on. So let's do another rule of three. If 12 stitches is 10 centimeters, how many stitches are 26 centimeters? So 12 times 26 divided by 10 is 31.2. But I need an even number of stitches, so round up to 30. I'm going to cast on 30 stitches. If you're working with inches, then it looks like this. If 12 stitches is 4 inches, how many stitches are 10 1 quarter? Then multiply 12 by 10.25 and divide it by 4. The result is 30.75. So I'm going to cast on 30 stitches. Okay, now I know that I need to cast on 30 stitches. Uh, but I don't know how many stitches I need to end up with. So let's do another simple rule of three. If 12 stitches are 10 centimeters, 50 centimeters, how many stitches are? So multiply 12 by 50 and divide it by 10, and the result is 60. I need to increase 30 stitches to get to 60. 60 minus 30 equals 30. If you're working in inches, then the rule of three looks like this. If 12 stitches are four inches, 19 and three quarters, how many stitches are? So multiply 12 by 19.75 divided by four, and the result is 59.25. Round up to 60 because we need a even number of stitches. So I need to increase 30 to get to 60. Now the second question is how to increase. I know that I have to increase 30 stitches in this distance. This is the length of my sleeve. In my case it's 21 centimeters because I already have 10 centimeters from the drop shoulder. So let's do another rule of three. I need to calculate how many rows are these 21 centimeters. So remember my gauge, 14 rows equals 10 centimeters. So 21, how many rows are? Multiply 14 by 21 and divide it by 10. The result is 29.4. So I'm going to round up to an even number, of, that's 30. So I know that I will need to use 30 rows for the increases. In inches, the rule of three looks like this. If 14 rows are four inches, eight and one quarter, how many rows are? So multiply 14 by 8.25 and divide it by four. The result is 28.8. I'm going to round up to an even number, 30. So I know that I will need to use 30 rows for the increases. So now I have to cast on 30 stitches, but I'm going to cast on less stitches here so I can show you everything a little bit faster using the smaller needles and color A. First row, right side of the work. We start with net two, 
one. Two, pearl two, one, two. And repeat to the end of the row. Row two, and every even row, we're working each stitch as it presents, which is the same. The repeat is knit two, purl two, and repeat, knit two. When you see the V, you have to knit, knit two. When you see the bump, you have to purl, so purl two. And repeat to the end of the row, knit two, purl two. Work six more rows, so we have eight rows of two by two rib stitch in total. After the ribbing, change to larger needles and work the stockinette stitch section as for the front and back for rows in color A to rows in color B. The only difference is that we are going to increase two stitches every odd row as follows. With color A, knit the first stitch front and back. So knit one, don't drop it, and now knit the same stitch through the back loop. We have increased one stitch. So knit to last stitch. And repeat, knit front and back, knit one, don't drop it, and now knit through the back loop. We have increased another stitch, so now we have two stitches. We have increased two stitches. The even rows are plain purl rows, or what's called dressed rows. We are not going to increase when purling. Just purl every stitch. So rows three and four are the same. And then change color and knit two rows more in color B, always increasing every odd row until you have 60 stitches in total. After that, if you need to knit more, keep knitting without increasing and bind off knitwise. How to join the sweater. Facing the right side of the work, place back and front together. And now find the center. Place a marker. My neckline is 30 centimeters wide. You can do it wider. So that leaves me with 15 centimeters for one side and 15 centimeters for the other side. Place a marker. And that means that I have to sew up this part. So take your tapestry needle and firstly you are going to join the most exterior part of the drop shoulder. Place the needle below one stitch from one side and then do the same on the other side. 
and repeat. until you get to the marker. Now finish the other side and then we're going to join the sleeves. To join the sleeve, facing the right side of the work, find the center. And place a marker. And put this center with the other center from the shoulders. Thread your tapestry needle, pass it below one stitch of this center, leaving a tail that we can hide afterwards, and below the V of this center stitch. So place your tapestry needle below the V of the center. And after the edge, find the bar that joins the last stitch and the next stitch and place your tapestry needle, needle below two bars. and repeat. Next V, below the next V, and below the next two bars, or one bar. You need to keep checking to get a balance. Always check how much fabric is left to get to the end. and repeat until you have finished and then do the same for, for the other side. Okay, this is the sleeve from the armpit to the cuff. So to join both sides, we're going to pass our tapestry needle below the bar that joins the last or the first stitch and the next one in one side and do the same for the other side. So one bar and one bar, this is stitch to stitch. So it's difficult to lose balance. You will always have the same amount in one side and in the other side. And repeat to the end of the cuff. Once you have finished, you can steam block your sweater, especially the seams, so you get a better result. And this is everything for today, my little woolly. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and happy knitting. Good luck.